Hello, in this video I would like to give a little word of warning to those of you who have or are considering purchasing a DJI Phantom 3 or a DJI Inspire 1. A recent update um, to the DJI Pilot app um, has reduced the number of channels uh, that the bird could have used for FPV and control from 32 to 8. This might not be a problem for many of you, but those of you who fly where there's any Wi-Fi around you, this could pose a problem and reduce partially or even substantially your potential FPV range and smoothness because you'll have less selectable channels to choose from. Um, the iOS version of the app that has this restriction just came out um, on the 28th, June 28th, um, a couple days ago. So if you've yet to update, you can check your app to see if you can select all 32 channels by going to the app into the camera and then clicking on the, um, uh, the control or, or the HD icon and then over here where it says HD you see uh, channels image transmission setting auto custom here, let me choose custom see you can't really um, do anything anyway it shows channels 13 through 20 it used to be 1 through 32 um, so some people have updated to the new app now Instead of seeing stable channels that they could connect to, the only eight channels they have remaining are unstable. So unstable means that they're going to get a pretty poor um, connection quality between uh, their controller and their Phantom, which really is unfortunate, you know, and to have something forced on you. So, um, and now let me show it to you on the slightly bigger screen on my uh, Nexus tablet here. I'm going to uh, click here. And as you can see, it only shows channels 13 through 20. So if you have a version of the app that can still select all of them, um, go to the areas where you like to fly a lot. And if you see channels 13 through 20 are red, um, then you might not want to update your app. So that means you're going to start having some... Uh, range issues and connection issues. Um, I don't know if this limitation is purely just um, relative to the app itself or if it's tied into the recent firmware update that came out as well for the Phantom. Um, but just a word of warning to give you the heads up. So my suggestion to all of you would be to contact DJI and complain about this because this is absolutely not right um, in my opinion. I believe they did this for uh, concerns that in certain areas you might need like a license like um like a ham license or whatever to be allowed to operate on certain channels but it's not right that they just force it on you like that then suddenly cripple um, the performance good performance that you once had once um, had workarounds to this um, would be to modify your controller so that way you could use external antennas as well as amplifiers. So even if you were in an area where you had a lot of activity on those channels, if you threw a couple of amps on your control, then you'd be able to transmit over it without a problem and it would work pretty well. But um, again, this is really unfortunate that they added this. Although, uh, oh, oh, but what you're gonna do, just you know, contact DJI and uh, you know, just make a grievance about it. But anyway, um, that's what it is. So if you um, want to comment, you can feel free to comment on uh, how this is working out for you. Anyway, please like and subscribe. I hope you found um, this helpful. And uh, hopefully DJ will do something about this. Or maybe even in the future when third-party SDKs come out, maybe um, those 32 channels will be re-enabled again in the future. Who knows? But for now... Uh, doesn't make me very happy because, um, you know, some of the parks I fly around have a fair bit of Wi-Fi. So that's going to uh, substantially um, reduce my um, flight capabilities because I'm less likely to be on a clean channel. So um, antenna mods, here I come. Or well, when I do get my unit. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching.